Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mina and this is going to be the beginning of another reading vlog. This reading vlog should probably span a little bit longer than usual. So it is currently Monday, September 21st and I am planning on experimenting, I guess, for the rest of the month of September. I'm technically on a mini book buying ban, so I am not and have not been purchasing any books throughout the month of September. I believe the last book that I got was uh, Hocus Pocus and Clown in a Cornfield, and I got both of those books at the end of August, like the 20 something. So I've been really good about not buying any new books. So what I'm trying to do now that I have a little bit of time left during this ban is try to finish a few books that I've started previously in the past, put them down for whatever reason, and have not finished them. So that's kind of like what I'm going to be doing in this vlog and for the rest of this month. It's only like a week and a day, so I don't know how many <laughs> books I'll be able to finish. I'm hoping because like I've started them and they're like mostly completed, I can at least finish like two possibly three, but we shall see. So yeah, the first book that I'm going to be reading in this reading vlog is Under the Dome by Stephen King. Let's just talk about, let's just talk about this. This is like a brick. This is literally something you could use as a weapon if an intruder comes into your house. It is over a thousand pages, <laughs> much like it. It's a thousand and seventy-two pages, which is part of the reason why I picked this book up very long ago and have not completed it. It's also a book that has a lot, and I mean a lot, of different characters, different perspectives, and just a lot of mini kind of plot lines going on at once. It is a little bit complex and confusing, and I think that that made me pick it up and put it down a couple of times. So I technically purchased this book like five years ago. I think it was like back in 2015, and I started reading it then, but I didn't get very far. I think maybe I read the first like 100 pages or so and then I got caught up with working in the summer and it was just too much and I couldn't focus on this so I did put it down and then I picked it up a second time last summer and I got a really, really good chunk of this done last summer. I am currently, or I was currently when I was reading this, up to page 810. So I read like majority of the book the second time around that I did pick it up. And I really do enjoy this book. I really like it. It's Stephen King, so there's like something comforting about returning to a Stephen King novel. <laughs> and if you guys don't know what this is about, this is more of like a sci-fi kind of horror, and it basically follows this small town in Maine that gets, I think they're in Maine, I'm pretty sure it's Stephen King, and he always writes in Maine. So the small town is cut off from the rest of the world one day when this giant invisible dome descends on the town and blocks anybody from coming into the town and stops anybody from leaving the town. They don't know where this dome came from, they don't know who or what is behind it, and it's kind of just like an exploration of the characters that are confined within this town and what happens when people are quarantined or stuck within a small place and they have no escape. How do power dynamics shift? How do people go mad psychologically? What are some of the repercussions of being cut off from society? So it's it's really interesting and I did like what I've read so far, which is most of the book. So I did want to finish it once and for all. I am now on page 832. So I do have like 240 pages left of this and I'm going to try my best to finish it within the next couple of days and finally say that I finished another Stephen King novel. So that is that. The other book that I would like to get to, and I don't know if I'm actually going to choose this one, but this would be a perfect one, that is Slasher Girls and Monster Boys. This is an anthology, which is something I do not pick up normally. So that could possibly be why I put it down and never picked it up. And also just the fact that it is an anthology or a book of 
shorter story. It will hopefully be easier for me to get back into because I mean, I am in the middle. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm literally, I stopped in the middle of a story instead of at the end of one of the stories. But at least I know that once this story that I'm in is over, I'll be getting new characters and new stories, new plots to kind of follow along. It hopefully won't be too bad. And this is basically like a horror YA anthology following a bunch of different classic horror tales and novels, but with the author's own spin on them. So it was interesting from what I read. I remember this one really creepy spin on like Alice in Wonderland, I believe it was. It was pretty dark and I liked that one. <laughs> so I wanna go in and finish this. I am 130 pages into this and there are 300 something, 385 pages. So that's like 250 pages. So I have 250 pages left of this to read. So those are like my immediate pickups. I have a few other books that I've started and could potentially finish but again let's not be ambitious because we know how i am with my tbrs with my reading plans let's just stick to these two books and see if i finish them so that's that that is what this vlog is going to be okay i'm gonna go this has been such a very long clip and i will see you guys when i can update more on some of my reading thoughts on Under the Dome. I believe today is Stephen King's birthday, so perfect for me to read this, and I will see you guys in a little bit. So I have a bunch of books that I used for my last video that I never put back into my shelves, and that was like a week and a half ago, so I'm gonna do that now, do a little time lapse so you guys can watch me do that. Also, my shelves are not very organized. I would love to do like a reorganization video sometime soon, so maybe I'll do something like that, but these gotta go away. homemade iced coffee and my freshly baked peanut butter cookie and I'm about to watch Halloween because it's Monday and I mean I'm done with my work so I might as well treat myself okay so it is the end of the night don't mind the fact that it looks like I cut my hair um, my hair is just back but I got some reading done I'm now at page 270 so I have 200 pages left to go of Under the Dome and I'm still really enjoying it. Like I said earlier, there are so many different characters and perspectives. So sometimes it is hard to follow along and remember who everybody is. But I think the general premise and like plot of the story is easy to follow. Right now we are in some tense like action scenes and it's just such a fun story. We're so used to like Stephen King writing just pure horror, whether that's supernatural or psychological or paranormal in some way. And this one, yes, has like some psychological aspects to it, but I think more importantly, it's about the horror of humanity and like the chaos of how people act during a crisis which is perfect not perfect but which is very like reflective of everything that's going on right now with covid and quarantine and it just it probably would have seemed maybe exaggerative or crazy if you were reading this before quarantine happened but now that we've like experienced this kind of situation, I feel like reading this, I'm like, oh yeah, this would totally happen in real life if a giant dome fell on a town and people were stuck inside. So 
I really do appreciate that. I think Stephen King is an excellent writer and it's his birthday and it's my mom's birthday and I don't know, I just thought that was cool. I don't know why I randomly said that, but it's late. It's like eight something now and I'm going to maybe read a little bit more and then I will catch in with you guys tomorrow. Okay, so it is the next day. It is Tuesday. I look ridiculous and it's a little bit later in the day. It's like 2 p.m. I finished up with teaching my class and doing some like planning for you know the days ahead. I still have some grading to do which I'm gonna try to do soon and get that out of the way. I haven't gotten any more reading done since last night. I'm still on page 870 so I have 200 pages left so I will try to get some reading done in today but exciting news I literally just found out that I won a giveaway that I entered I think it was like last week sometime but basically I, I enter these giveaways on Instagram when I see somebody that I follow is posting it and there is an art shop like an Etsy art print shop that I follow I love their artwork it's very my taste very minimal the color scheme is like perfect for me and they were hosting a giveaway last week and i entered like a bunch of times because you could enter you know like as many times as you want so i think i entered like four times and she just announced the winner and it was me which is like so surprising and like caught me off guard because i literally never win anything and i know everybody says that but i have never won anything so this is so exciting i got to choose five art prints like any from her shop and she's going to send me like the actual print not just the digital copy so that is awesome i'm so excited i have like so much like blank space throughout my house throughout the apartment that i still want to kind of fill up and this is perfect for that i just need to get some frames and things like that but i'm just so excited that like made my day i'm going to eat lunch when my vegetables are finished roasting and then i'm going to not read yet i'm going to grade the work that I have to grade for my students and then I'm going to read some more of Under the Dome. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Okay, so it's like an hour later and we are going to get Starbucks courtesy of my husband. So I'm excited. It's like that Tuesday pick me up that I need. And then we're gonna go back home and I have to finish grading and finally get some reading done for the day. Okay, you guys, it's Thursday. I'm the worst vlogger. I'm failing on my reading vlog. I'm failing on my reading. It's just like a really intense week in terms of like work stuff. So I'm on my way to my parents' house. It was my mom's birthday the other day and I didn't get to go. So I'm going today. I got myself a cold brew. Hopefully this will make me feel better. I'm just having like a stressful past couple of hours i know that sounds like really random but work is just annoying me and the traffic that i have to face going to my parents house right now is also annoying and i didn't get reading done yesterday which is why i didn't film and uh, i don't know if i have anything to update i'm on page 922 so i still have a good chunk left to go i think one thing that i did want to mention from my reading Tuesday night was that I like that because this book is sci-fi there's a lot of things that we don't know regarding the dome where it came from 
who or what is responsible for it. And there is mention that this could possibly be related to something extraterrestrial, which is super fascinating. And what I like is that our main characters have found this object that is sort of like the focal point for the dome. It's this black box with some weird writing or symbols on it that we don't really know. We can't decipher it or they can't decipher it because it's not a human language, I guess. And every time somebody touches that box, they see visions of what these beings look like. Except they can't really describe it because they really cannot comprehend or fathom what these alien-like creatures look like and I don't know I just find that so terrifying I think it's better that Stephen King isn't really describing these beings or what they could possibly be how they could look instead he's sort of leaving it up to our imaginations to kind of decipher who these things are and I thought that was really interesting and creepy that's really all I wanted to update with you guys I'm failing. <laughs> I just wanted to say I'm failing. So if this is the only thing that I finish in this reading vlog, I'm so sorry that my thoughts are so slow that I'm just like super busy, but I'm going to head over to my mom's now and I will catch in with you guys later. Hey guys, um, I have not filmed in this vlog for the past two days. <laughs> What's up? How's it going? Basically, I've been having a really rough reading week and vlogging week and I kind of regret doing this reading vlog during a week that I was just very busy with work and not able to get as much reading done as I had wanted to but I do want to continue I do want to finish and I had some time this morning to get some reading done so I'm a little bit further in under the dome and I wanted to give you guys an update I do apologize that this video is like super sporadic and there are like days of footage <laughs> missing. It's not really like a daily vlog, but it's okay. I kind of needed like a little mental break from reading and vlogging, so I didn't film anything yesterday, which was Friday. And I filmed one clip on Thursday on my way to my parents' house and getting my Starbucks, but didn't film anything after that. <laughs> so we're back now and it's Saturday and I am now on page 970 of Under the Dome, so I finally am at the end of the book. I have a hundred pages left, so I'm hoping. I feel like I shouldn't even put these goals out there because I like jinx myself. Also, don't mind Grey's Anatomy is on in the background, but my goal is to hopefully finish by tomorrow. I think I want to reach at least page a thousand maybe a little bit more today and then finish the rest of it off tomorrow but i did want to update you guys and say that i'm still enjoying the book it is very slow and again because there are so many different perspectives and different things going on within the book it is very hard to jump back in if you miss a day of reading or if you miss a month of reading or a week of reading this book you kind of have to like reorient yourself into the story and kind of remember like okay who is this character, what is their relation to the overall plot, but it is an exciting and interesting book and we're at this moment in the text where people from outside of the dome, like family members and friends of the people who are stuck inside of the dome, are coming to the edge or the border of the dome to meet with their relatives and loved ones that are stuck inside. So it's kind of like a chaotic scene because we have like thousands of people who are stuck inside the dome flocking to this one area and thousands of people on the other side that are flocking to meet them and of course they cannot physically touch, they can only communicate through that barrier so it's a pretty intense scene and it certainly is emotional just thinking like imagine being separated from your loved ones not even by like miles or like space or anything it's just being separated from them by inches and you cannot get to them so it's kind of an intense moment i do want to also mention that there are some pretty brutal scenes in this book regarding like sexual abuse and rape so i just wanted to like give you guys a warning in case anybody is particularly sensitive to that there is a rape scene it came a lot earlier in the book, um, but I just remembered it now because they referenced it again later on in the text, so please be aware of that. But yeah, I'm 
still really interested and I'm gonna keep reading today and see how much I can get done. Also, shout out to my best friend for getting me this awesome Hocus Pocus sweater with the Sanderson sisters on it. She's awesome. She literally just got this for me as a gift for no reason. So thank you to her and I will hopefully see you guys a little bit later. Hello everyone, it is now Monday and I know what you're thinking. Why are you still doing this vlog if you keep missing days vlogging? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I do have some good news to report to you guys. I did finally finish reading Under the Dome. Yay! And I want to give you guys my final thoughts. I'm thinking I will probably just end my vlog today because I don't know if I'm really going to pick up Slasher Girls and Monster Boys. It's pretty much the end of September. I think I am going to end my book buying ban the last day of September, so I will have some new books to pick up. So this reading vlog did not go as originally planned. I just basically finished Under the Dome in this vlog and it took me a week to do so, but it happens. So Under the Dome, my thoughts, wow. It took me a while to get back into the story. I'm not gonna lie, I, it took me a freaking week to read like less than 300 pages and I don't know if that's just because of like my other work kind of related things or because it was hard for me to actually get back into the story but yesterday's reading and Saturday's reading, things really started to propel in the book and a lot of action sequences were happening and it just got pretty intense and exciting for me so I really did love that last like 100 pages or so of this novel. Once I reached the end and you know, I finished the 1,072 pages. It just felt like such an amazing like success for me, an accomplishment because of how long it is and because of how much is going on in this story. And I just really did enjoy it overall. And I realized that even though this book is about a dome keeping people inside of a town and not letting them escape, there are so many other things going on and one thing that I particularly notice is that King offers us this message about morality in like power dynamics and how people who have power, people who are in authority, people who are in charge, those people are usually the ones who abuse their power and they can hurt those below them for their own benefit and their own pleasure and that's a huge theme of this book. We see that with not only the you know characters that we're following, they talk about some instances in their lives where they abused their power I guess you could say and it's really like tough to read about. I'm, I'm trying to be vague because I don't want to give any spoilers but this might be a mild spoiler so if you are interested in reading this book I would just skip ahead but we do learn that the dome is from an extraterrestrial power and the way that they kind of describe the scenario is like kids using a magnifying glass and looking in on a bunch of ants and like hurting those ants and that's exactly like what's happening in this situation we have these like powerful extraterrestrial beings enclosing these humans in this small space and kind of just watching the chaos ensue and literally just letting them suffer for their own amusement and their own pleasure. And it's such a crazy concept and horrifying concept which I think is what makes this book sci-fi horror in a way. So I really did appreciate that discussion and I appreciated King's discussion and ability to talk about corruption in the military because that was like a small thread that was mentioned with one of our main characters Dale Barbara he was a part of the US military prior to his character in the book and he does talk about some of the abuse of power within the military and that was very hard to read but it was also like truth that King is talking about so I appreciate that and also just there was like one scene where I wanted to like just vlog and give you guys my reaction but I was just like also not in a vlogging mindset and it was yesterday I was reading there was this explosion scene an explosion occurred within the dome and the way that King described that scene like holy crap man it felt like I was reading about the end of the world about like an apocalypse 
because just his descriptions of what the explosion looked like underneath the dome and how people were just dropping and dying and they couldn't breathe and animals were dying and killing themselves and it was such an intense moment that I really felt like I was there witnessing the action. So of course, props to King for doing that. But yeah, those are my overall thoughts. I just wanted to tell you guys, I think I would rate this probably a four out of five stars. It's definitely not perfect and it's not my favorite Stephen King, but it was an accomplishment to read this and I did enjoy my time spent reading this. So that's always fun. So I'm gonna take you guys along. We're gonna go pumpkin picking today. So I will take you with us when we go and i have off today which is awesome off from work which is why we're going pumpkin picking today and then i will probably end the vlog later tonight so i will see you guys a little bit later okay so we are on the way just picking up some bagels and some starbucks and then we're gonna go pumpkin picking so i'm so excited i'm so glad i have today off just gonna enjoy the day Okay, you guys, it is the end of the night and this is going to be the end of my vlog. I just wanted to quickly show you some things that I got from pumpkin picking and I also have a package to unbox really quickly before I sign off. So pumpkin picking, I just got this small little cute pumpkin and then I also got this half of a cranberry apple pie, which looks really good. And then of course I had to get some apple cider donuts, so I'm so excited to eat these. And then lastly, I got a little package to open up. So I have been on a book buying ban, and I still am, but this book was a gift. My husband got it for me, so it doesn't really count because I didn't pay for it. So I'm still going to consider myself on the ban until October, which is literally in two days. And I'm not like crazy about getting anything right now, so it may even last longer than like the first day of October. Okay, so first of all, we got a humidifier for ourselves. I can't even get this out of the box. I'm struggling so hard. So we got a humidifier, but that's not relevant. And then they didn't even package this in here. I got this really cute graphic novel that I saw somebody buy on Instagram and I was like, okay, I need to get this. It's called The Seance Tea Party. But how cute does this look? This is gonna be another perfect little like spooky graphic novel read for me. I think I'm going to do a graphic novel book recommendations for Halloween, so this may be on it. It says, a magical tea party introduces Laura to Alexa, the ghost that haunts her house. 
Alexa will be a kid forever, but what will happen as Laura continues to get older? Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was kind of all over the place. I know I didn't do what I had originally planned in the beginning of this vlog, and I hope you guys still enjoyed following me along this week and seeing my journey of finishing one of the biggest books that I've ever read. And please, please, please let me know in the comments below some ideas for videos you'd like to see me do. I love filming reading vlogs, so I will continue to do that. But if you guys have any ideas for like sit down videos or recommendation type videos, do let me know. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys.